I love Halloween, and I just wanted to get into the Halloween spirit uh, by putting on a little costume. So I apologies if you don't recognize me. It is Jason Swank, and I am here with my good friend and yours from Chicago, Jimmy Mack. Hey, Jason. Hey, now, Star Wars fans. Uh, yeah, I did notice that you are in costume, as yeah. I can see you on our video feed. Of course, full-length videos are available to members of the Patreon All Access tier. And we put little tidbits out for everyone here and there on YouTube, on the RFR YouTube channel. So uh, Subscribe, smash that like button, hit the bell. All that stuff. So, that so the are say. you dressed yeah, as oh. a YouTuber, a YouTube influencer? Is that what you are for Halloween? Uh, I, I actually am. Uh, and it's a pretty deep disguise. So uh, I'll, I'll give you uh, a hint. Yes, I am dressed as a YouTube influencer with a very strong and quite timely Star Wars connection. Do you have it yet? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm. Let me let me give you a hint. You ready for this? Are you mm -hmm. watching? Okay. I am. All right. <laughs> You're uh, a, a guy watching the uh, Rise of Skywalker trailer. Yes, I am Eric Butts. Your reaction I am, video. I am dressed as Eric Butts, who has done uh, taken the whole internet by storm with his reaction videos to the uh, the Star Wars Rise of Skywalker trailers. I don't think he got to the Mandalorian yet. We'll we'll be uh, doing that tonight, but it won't be quite as emotional as uh, as Eric. So yeah, do you do you recognize me now? Can you see it? Can you see the I resemblance? Do. Well, I, I do. Oh, it's it's really remarkable. The uh, resemblance quite honestly but uh you know i went on a little twitter tear the other day and asked myself uh in front of everyone is this what star wars fandom has become <laughs> because i really question the authenticity of any reaction video um i think you point a camera at someone uh with the intention of getting a reaction out of them the reaction will be there and it will be amplified <laughs> thus fake I think the only way you could do a proper reaction video... Stop making all this. I, I was reacting to you. <laughs> That's not funny. All right. All right, I'm done. I don't done. ever want right. to see I'm that again. <laughs> um, okay. But I, I just think that the only way you could get a legitimate reaction video and to make it happen authentic, with authenticity at its core is to uh, have the subject unaware that he or she is actually being videoed. But now a lot of people get clicks and and uh, attention and notoriety uh, by um, putting on a show, an emotional show, watching Star Wars trailers. And uh, I'm not on board with it. A lot of people uh, were um, with me and a lot of people were against me in those claims. But uh, that's just my opinion. Well well, you know, it, it, just do a little research. You'll find out that this uh, Eric Butts guy, nothing against him. I mean, he's on YouTube. He's got 30,000, 40,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. But, but that's first and foremost, is he's a YouTube guy. Mm -hmm. He was looking for downloads. He was looking for clicks. He was looking for views. Uh, and he was also admittedly quite drunk when he recorded those. And he seems like a nice enough guy. The problem that I had, Jim, and it was the same that you had, what's, which what's was quite drunk for him. Two cans of light <laughs> beer. <laughs> well, I mean, OK, he he <laughs> good point. Uh, he seems like he would probably be a lightweight. Um, recent, he's a newlywed. He's recent. He's recently married. And um, my problem was not with what Eric did, but it was with what he did then led to the media grabbing that thrusting him on to the mainstream public and saying look at this star wars isn't this cute look at this star wars fan yeah, oh they're so it, passionate but they're laughing at us it right yes. it becomes representative of the whole and uh, the whole uh he doesn't he doesn't represent me and no. i i've long believed that people are just way too prone to wearing every emotion on the, uh, you know on the outside of their skin you know they just and that's why everybody is is so ridiculously sensitive now mm 
and easily offended because their emotions are just on the surface as if that's something to be uh, so proud of. I, 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 you know, I, I'm not, you know, saying that, you know, you got to be stoic and stiff upper lip all the, all the time. I think you can show emotion, but it, 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 it rings of insincerity when that's all mm -hmm. you get. It's just this emotional basket case. Yeah. Act like you've been here before, man. Uh, right. You know, right. It's, it, it's, it's this ridiculous this ridiculousness of, of getting all the bent guy, out of shape because you see the Millennium Falcon in the third movie of the third trilogy. It's just, <laughs> that, to me, rings insincere. It's totally insincere because the guy acted as though he had been blind since birth and this was the first moment he could <laughs> see. You know, I've seen amazing videos of... Uh, dude, you want to you, you shed some tears. Watch some videos of little babies or little kids getting the cochlear implant for the first time uh -huh. oh and they goodness. can hear the sound of their mother's voice or right, their father's right. voice like that is that brings you to tears that brings you to tears or the the kid whose father has been away serving overseas oh yeah get that right. surprise reunion and it always just brings me it turns me into a puddle on the floor right. i'm like you know, I mean, Star Wars, I have a very strong connection with, but I don't find myself turning into an emotional basket case over it either. You know, it's just like I said, act like you've been here before. Yeah. Man up, sissy pants. <laughs> uh, I do have to tell you, so we had trick or treat a, a week ago. We, we do yeah. trick or treat the Sunday before unless Halloween falls on a weekend day. My town does trick or treat on the Sunday prior from three to five. And I've railed about this on the show many times. I hate that. I think it's ridiculous. And it was overreaction to all of the urban legends and the old wives tales of the 80s about razor blades and candy and all that stuff. And in apples and, you know, a bunch of moms got together and said, let's do this at three o'clock in the afternoon, whatever. But I did have an opportunity to exact my rule. You come to my house and you are dressed as a Star Wars character. You get twice the candy bonus. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Boba Fett comes up and he's there with uh, with this this guy in a in a just, you know, the kid that he, the guy he thinks he's uh, maybe a little too old. So he just kind of puts on like his baseball uniform. Mm -hmm. Right. OK. <laughs> yeah. He, or, or he puts on the, the football jersey. It's like, you know, mm -hmm. like that's a real costume. Um but this one kid, he was great. A full flight suit with the with the armor pads on and the helmet. And he was a great looking Boba Fett. So he comes up and uh, I said, oh, I said, well, you Star Wars care. You know, take take more candy, take more candy. And then the, the baseball guy starts putting his mitts, literally his mitt <laughs> inside the candy. I go, not you, baseball. And I kind of slapped his hand. <laughs> and the dad was at the end of the driveway. And he gave me uh -huh. a big thumbs up. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I agree. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm Star Wars. Fan. Yeah, yeah. I said, I'm sorry, Dad. I said, you know, the rule is uh, only Star Wars characters. Uh, not a lot of them this year. Uh, had had a Mandalorian. Had a great Vader. This kid was probably ten years old. Great looking Vader. And uh, but you know, uh, there, there was another set that I think you and you and your brother Bill would have loved because of the nostalgia factor. Is uh, he had these three boys. They were all brothers. And their ages had to have been like four, eight, and ten, something like that. Four, six, and ten. Four, eight, and ten. And they were dressed as the Marx Brothers. Oh, wonderful! And the little four-year-old was was Harpo, with yeah. the little horn <laughs> and the <laughs> and the big wig. Wow. It was amazing. I said, "You that's, take as much candy as you want." Yeah, that's I mean, an amazing the, deep dive right there. I mean, Groucho had the glasses and the cigar, and he's like doing the whole thing. It was it was so good. I think Billy Mac did a Groucho Marks for Halloween one year. Quite honestly, oh, okay. way back when, because you know, uh, if you know anything about Billy Mac, he loves to. Uh, to appear as a mustachioed person <laughs> for any uh, Halloween event. Last year, he was Burt Reynolds. Uh, this year, he was Father Guido Sarducci. And when we were kids, he was Groucho Marx. And who could forget that wonderful moment at Solo in Ohio when Billy Mack appeared on stage with full Lando mustache to enhance the puppet Lando segment. Well, this makes the question, the, We didn't though. have the puppet back then. So right. Well, we we, Bill was the puppet. <laughs> yeah, he had to be his own puppet. Well, he's still uh, it was